Hi everyone, welcome back, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to expand on the Dash app and the AI agent that we created in the last video with Landgraph. But in this app, we're going to switch it and give the AI agent and the user more flexibility by including an input, input box, a submit button, and memory. So if I say, hi, my name is Ben, and I submit this, before I ask any question about defense companies and whatever, I'll just say, hi, my Ben. Let me close this tab and the app and restart the app. Assume that this app is restarting on the, on the same computer a day later or two days later. We're going to restart the app and we'll see that the memory was saved of the memory of the conversation. If we go here, what is my name? It should tell us, should remember that it's Ben. Yes, your name, your name is Ben. So you can actually grab the latest conversation. Let's go to line number 112. Here, we're going to say, take the input of the end clicks of the button. So this is going to represent the end clicks of the button, right? Uh, so we're listening to the button and being clicked. So let's actually close this, make this a little bit bigger. So it's easier for you to see. All right. So whenever I click on this button right here, submit, it's going to activate the callback, right? The end clicks. It will also listen to the value of the user text, which is the value of the input, whatever I put in here. That's going to grab it as the string. And it's also going to listen to, uh, to grab the data of my DCC store. Right, my DCC store is right here. So first, listen to the end clicks of the button. Whenever the button is clicked, activate the callback, take the value of the user text, the input, and also take the data of the DCC store. The data is where we actually store the whole conversation, right? Okay, so let's do this. Now, we activated the callback. Let's assume this is a completely new app with no prior conversation. We'll go here and we'll say, Hi, I'm Tom. How are you? Right? Submit. And we just activated the AI agent right here. Now, what happened? AI agent is answering us. What happened is, if the convo data, this is the convo data, and this is the third input. So this refers to the data of the store. The, the store component stores data on the client's browser, in this case on my browser. So let's assume there was no conversation. This conversation was empty. There was nothing in there. Let's assume it's a completely fresh new app. This convo data is going to be equal to none or just, yeah, none because there's nothing there. So if there is something there, do this, right? But because there is nothing there, we're going to go here. It's else. And we're going to say, let's look for the response. We're going to activate the Langchain exec uh, executor, <laughs> executor um, right here, which we also saw in the last video. This is where we built it. We're going to activate it on line 132. And we're going to say that the message is going to be from the user and this user input. Remember, this user input is this one. It's the second argument in this callback is actually the value of my input box. This is the ID. So this is the value right here. Hi, I'm Tom. How are you? This is going to go inside of here, right? So then the AI agent is activated and then it gives me, we'll go over this in a second, and then it gives me a, a response right here. This is the response of the AI, right? I'm returning this response to the children property of the markdown. This is the ID for the markdown, as you can see here, the markdown component. So that's why the response is returned here below the input and the button. Okay, so we return the conversation. You'll notice that before we return the conversation, we have, we're gonna, we're gonna use dumps uh, and we're gonna dump the, resp the response message, right? And why am I doing this? Uh, using dumps, this is something I imported here from Langchain Core. Uh, sorry, uh, where is it? Dumps from Langchain Load, dumps and load. This helps us serialize and deserialize the, the, this response, the conversation history. So here I have to serialize the chat history 
and I'll call it history. And then I return this to the data of the conversation. The conversation is the DCC store. So I'm actually returning it here. The data is going to be equal to history. All right. So th this is how I'm saving the full conversation on the client's browser, on the user's, uh, on the client side, on the user's browser. All right. But this is a DCC store is, is a dash store component. It cannot take a regular response message. This is not um, applicable. It has to be in, in a JSON format or a string or whatever. So we have to serialize it in order to return it to the to assign it to the data on the browser. So now that we serialized it, we have it. And now is the second time I'm going to activate the callback by saying, what is my name? All right? If I say what is my name here, what is my la what is my what is my name? And I hit the submit button, it's gonna say your name is Tom. Now how did how did it know that? Because when I said what is my name, this is the user input, what is my name, right? So it's gonna go right here, the user input, what is my name? We click the button, so the callback is going to be activated. And now if convo data, remember. This is like saying if convo data is not none, right? If there is something in the conversation data that's pulled from here, then do something. And we know there is something in the conversation data because previously we asked, we told it my name is, is Tom, and we actually returned the con serialized conversation to the data property of the store component, the dash store component. So we know there's something in there, right? You can even print it out. You can do print convo data and you'll see something in there. But now, because it's serialized, we have to deserialize it. We're going to use uh, loads, convo data, and just call it convo data again. And we'll re then we're going to add this to the conversation history by saying convo data plus this new user question. So now we have the original conversation, which is a question and the response, and the new conversation, which is a question and the response. And we return this, submit. What is my name? My name is Tom. And now we can say, what are the main defense companies in Russia? No, let's say in Sweden. And it should give us activate AI based on the, on the prompt here. We can change the prompt. This was specific for this app. And here it gives us three defense companies with a sentence of a description. All right, and even if I close the tab, this the as long as I don't delete the cookies and the history, the conversation will remain because I put storage type local, which pretty much saves it until the data on the browser until the cookies are deleted. All right, I did go over a lot of information. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and come check out Charming Data because we talk about this stuff every Saturday and we work on AI and data apps together. So I hope to see you there. Always remember we're better together, so help each other out.